afternoon, everyone. My presentation today will be on an ongoing case study on students' digital experiences with Moodle at Divine Word University. Some of you um, might be wondering, where is Divine Word University? Okay. Divine Word University is situated in Papua New Guinea in a small province called Medang. As you can see from the map in front, Papua New Guinea is located about 160 kilometers north of Australia. We're quite a small campus. Um, we have about 93 teaching staff and about 1,594 students of both undergraduate students and postgraduate. And these are all full-time students. We also have an indefinite number of um, other postgraduate students who are under the flexible mode. Our campus is made up of um, four faculties. Moodle is used in, um, has been used in Divine Word University for the past 12 years. All our staff and students have been trained on the basics with Moodle. Our undergraduate full-time students use Moodle for exams and also to access their learning resources. Moodle is currently managed by the Center for Learning and Teaching, which is the center I am in, or CLT for short. Um, CLT continues to provide Moodle support to staff and students on the effective use of Moodle. This study is conducted by the Center for Learning and Teaching, and it had two main objectives. Number one, we wanted to um, evaluate as to what extent is the digital experiences of D, uh, DW students, and number two, we wanted to explore how DW students use technology to enhance their learning. And our main focus was on the perception and use of Moodle. The study is a quantitative and self-selection study. Okay. Uh, we collected the data through an online questionnaire prepared with Google Form. Our target audience are the full-time students, both undergraduate and postgraduate students. Um, we used Moodle to disseminate the invitations to the participants. All full-time students who are enrolled in Moodle received the invitation to participate in the survey with a link to the online questionnaire through email sent from the news forum. Invitation is still being circulated through this method. The questionnaire includes five questions. Total number of participants to this date is about 149 students. About 56% are female participants and 44% male part participants. I will not go through all the results for each faculty and the level of study, but again, as I mentioned earlier, our target audience is the full-time students, both undergraduate and postgraduate. All right, in the first question, we focused on the look or the layout of the learning management system, Moodle, as a portal for university students. In terms of the complexity, about 90% 90, 90 of the participants opted for just fine. About 9% said it to be too simplistic, and 1% said, said it to be too complicated. In terms of the quality, of the overall design of the Moodle platform, most of the participants said it to be pleasing and welcoming. Um, this part of the question may not seem as important to the participant, but I guess all these elements do contribute to the student's learning process. Is the platform engaging or is it too dull? 
or is it welcoming? These results will help us at the Center for Learning and Teaching to better design the university's learning management system. Question two is concentrated on the student's ability to customize the layout of their personal page. When the students log into Moodle, they log in with their own accounts. Um, with this option, students can customize the dashboard and their profile page by adding a profile pic, uh, image, maybe. They can also configure, hide, or dock blocks as shown here. About 62% use this option. Around 35% have never used this option, and about 4% don't believe that this option is helpful enough to maneuver through Moodle. In question three, we focused on the various functions of Moodle is the Moodle platform sufficiently enhancing the learning experience of students? Are online assessments delivered and managed well? There were about 13, yep, 13 viewpoints or statements stated in this question. Highlighted in yellow are the highest number of participants who agreed with the statements, and in green are the highest number of participants who disagreed. Overall, more training needs to be conducted for staff on the use of the various functions offered in Moodle. Not only in terms of having all resources provided in Moodle, but also in having assessments done online as well. Question four looked at six digital activities from finding information and working with others online, using an educational game or simulation for learning through to using a polling device or online quiz to give answers in class. Further investigation has to commence now from the results that we've come up with into how we can incorporate digital activity five and six where Educational games or simulation is introduced in the classroom. And also utilizing other activities in Moodle to give answers in class. In Moodle, there are different types of activities and resources that can be used in a unit page. Question five focused on these activities and resources and how often are they being used? From the responses, the most used resource is the file that includes PowerPoint slides, um, PDF, Word document, videos, and audio. The most used activity is the quiz activity because they use the quiz activity to do their exams online. I have picked up one Moodle resource and four Moodle activities that are not fully utilized in Moodle, and they are the workshop choice, glossary, and wiki activity, and the book resource. This indicates to us at Center for Learning and Teaching on what sort of further training to conduct for the academic staff. Center for Learning and Teaching will be conducting more focused training for the DW teaching staff on the use of the various functions in Moodle and also, we will look into student-oriented trainings on how to effectively utilize the different activities and resources in Moodle. Thank you.